All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson coming at you with some news out of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So a strawweight bout is official in the UFC strawweight division between Tisha Torres, the Tiny Tornado, and Brianna the Bull Van Buren. Very interesting fight here. Look, going straight into the stats, Torres coming in 10 and 5, Van Buren 9 and 2. Torres, lo first losing streak of her career. Uh, coming off four straight losses, but man, you got to look at who these losses are to. Jessica Andraj, Joanna Janjacek, Weili Zahn, and then Marina Rodriguez, respectively. That's the order of those losses. She's not losing to chumps. Van Buren coming in off a successful UFC debut over Olivia Hanata Souza. Before that, she won the Invicta Phoenix Series 1 tournament. Uh... Going further down the stats, Torres is the older fighter, 30 years to Van Buren's 26. Got two of the shortest fighters in the division here. Torres standing 5 feet 1 inch, 155 centimeters. Van Buren, 5 foot even, 152 centimeters. Van Buren, however, has 1 inch reach over Torres. 62 inches, 157 centimeters to 61 inches, 155 centimeters for Torres. This is a very, very interesting matchup. Okay, you got Van Buren is at the high point of her career so far, whereas Torres is on the biggest slope of her career. Again, Torres is not losing to scrubs, though. I mean, she's losing to elite fighters. Marina Rodriguez, okay, not proven elite yet, but Andraj, former champ. Jan Zajacek, former champ. Wei Li Zan, current champ. So, yeah, she's losing, but she's fighting a murderer's row here. Uh, Van Buren just beat the former Invicta champ. Before that, mostly fought, well... Fighters who were cut from the UFC. Like fighters who weren't exactly UFC level talent. Um, well, Manji Kolokar, that's that's like a almost guaranteed win there. Uh, Juliana Lima was 9-5 and five at, the, at the time. Was coming off of getting cut from the UFC. Kylan Curran went into that fight with a losing record. So Van Buren, I believe, is... A super talented prospect, but she has a lot to prove. And this is definitely the fight where she can prove that. Um, if she comes in and executes the right game plan. If I were Torres, I'd be going back to ATT and uh, training there. Screw that camp in Colorado. That's They're not doing anything for her. Uh, she needs to go back to Florida, go back to ATT and train for this one because... This could be the fight that gets her cut. Five losses in a row. Yeah, it'd, it'd be hard to argue keeping her there. And us also, she loses this. She's definitely out of the rankings. Whereas Van Buren, she'll get to break into the rankings. So if I were Torres, I'd go back to ATT, get in a good fight camp there. Van Buren, she needs to bring her A game because this is definitely going to be the toughest fight of her career. Um, Torres likes to strike on the outside, you know, they call her Tiny Tornado for a reason. She goes in and out, in and out, always striking the outside, always moving, always on the move. Van Buren, she likes to get inside to strike, and so she could shoot for takedowns. So two very different styles. Torres, underrated takedown defense, underrated grappling herself, period. She's very underrated, her grappling. Um, very well-rounded fighter. Wrestling, though, I'd still give the advantage to Van Buren. On the feet, I'd give it to Torres. Should be a very interesting fight. Um, anyway, let me know your thoughts on this fight in the comments down below. I'll do a more thorough breakdown fight week. So let me know your thoughts on the fight in the comments down below. And hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.